How's it going guys, Liefthinen here and welcome to the 95 rated Team of the Season, Timo Werner player review. I'm not really surprised to see him in this year's Team of the Season because obviously he had himself a great season. He's got himself one in form and two mouth matches in this FIFA 18, so you know, a very good season on a whole. But also he's very likened by the fans, you know, he's fan favourite, so obviously you do expect a lot of fans to vote for him and so they did and he got himself this place in team of the season and his card does look phenomenal and if you've used any of his cards earlier in this game you know whether it is base card it's in form it's man of the match you do know how explosive how great how fantastic he is to use you know how fun of a card he is and uh, so exactly you do expect nothing less from this card looking at his stats 98 pace 97 dribbling 95 shooting 89 passing and 81 physical a complete player you know very um, very amazing stats on a whole to be honest also got himself for star weaver which is great with high medium vic rate making him very very aggressive and active on the offensive side skill moves are three stars but they're not really a problem looking further into the car i mean he just looks astonishing got himself some phenomenal upgrades starting off with the space you know very very explosive very pacey with the 99 acceleration and 98 sprint speed shooting very great with that 99 positioning 99 finishing 88 shot power however you know not the best of long shots but still you know around the box you do expect him to you know score a lot of chances that he gets passing is also very decent with 94 crossing 99 short passing and 84 curve not the best of curves so you know you don't expect a lot of finish shots as well however dribbling is very phenomenal you know with the 95 agility 92 balance 99 reactions 99 ball control 98 dribbling composure could have been a bit higher i was a bit disappointed to see that you know could have been around 88 but it's not the best obviously very decent also very very strong in the air 99 heading accuracy 95 jumping 97 stamina which is very nice however you know, not the best strength. Aggression is very, very good, but the strength is low. So, you know, you, sometimes you would get pushed aside easily. And I did the review early on by Shrey, and it was a bit hard to use by Shrey because obviously he's more of a target striker. He's not the striker, not the type of player that we are, you know, very, very used to. However, this guy right here, as you can see, he's phenomenal. I had so much fun playing him. He's one of the best cards that I've used in this game. He's he's, he's just a he's fantastic card to use in this game, you know, in FIFA 18. We all like very pasty, explosive cards, you know, with great agility great balance great dribbling and uh, he is that card you know he's a complete card can score whatever chance that you give to him you know whether it's inside the box whether you know it's tap-ins whether it's crosses headers whether it's you know he have to work it himself and score he does all of it by himself and he's very very great at it a very you know complete striker also assists a lot so that's very very nice i mean he's got himself a phenomenal sp you know I guess, uh, positives i mean the one that stood out the most of me was his pace his agility his finishing and his positioning like I said, pace very, very explosive. He's just very hard to stop. You know, it's very easy for him to drift behind the defenders. You know, dif beside them, they're not able to catch them, you catch him. You know, so that's very, very nice. Agility is also very great at that. He's very, very agile. Very easy for him to turn around very quickly. You know, he's got himself very, very quick feet. And so, in the inside the box, or even you know, when you have the ball in his feet at any place, he's just very great to use because it's very easy for him to turn around. Got also got himself amazing 19 ball control. So that's very, very usable as well. And then his finishing is also fantastic, you know, as you could see there, you know, finished it with his left. And uh, I mean, low driven in this game are very, very overpowered. And uh, I mean, this guy with 99 finishing, you do expect him to add them, you know, you do uh, expect him to finish those at the back of the net. And he's also got himself for a weak foot. So that's very, very nice as well. Positioning is also very great. Never drift wide, you know, stay in his position. And that is what I like to see. With Batshuayi, he was drifting a bit wide. You know, and uh, it might get frustrating at times. However, this guy was in his positions all the time. And I play very aggressive football. You know, I just, I, I press high at the defense and, you know, pass straight away to the offense. And uh, he was always on those positions. So that was very, very nice. Also, his, I mean, his dribbling is great. His passing is great. He's a fantastic card. However, when it comes to his negatives, there's only one that I was able to see. I mean, he's got himself three star skill moves. You might see that as a negative, you know, because obviously he cannot perform a lot of skill moves. But other than that, strength, which is a major one because he's got himself 73 strength. It's decent, but it's not the best one when it comes to the likes of Maldini or, you know, Ferdinand or even Bayi because they're very easy. Not very easy, but still, you know, they can push him aside with uh, a lot, uh, s some ease. And the cards I think are quite similar are Mbappe and Rodrigo, all of them very, very basic. You know, very, very similar feeling, very good at finishing, shooting. Amazing card on a whole, you know, would expect a lot of chances with them and, you know, they always deliver. Well, that was it for this week, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.